Hey, 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 welcome to this episode of Your Business Won't Scale Itself with Terry Foster. This episode is brought to you by the Strategic Advisor Board along with Terry Foster Consulting. Terry Foster Consulting is a digital marketing agency that has helped business owners like you scale to seven figures and beyond with effective, effective digital marketing. So today I want to talk about an important lesson. It's figuring out why you want to scale. So scale is one of those sexy words. It's scale, scale, scale. Everyone wants to scale, but what I've learned from scaling myself and also working with lots of business owners that have scale is that it's very, very important to understand why you want to scale. It can't just be about obtaining um, a higher top line revenue amount because let's just say you were making $10,000 a month your expenses were $5,000 a month. So what's left over is 5,000 profits, $5,000. If you scaled up to $100,000 a month, but your expenses scale to $96,000 a month, now the profit is $4,000. So you scaled your business, but is that what you really wanted? Probably not because it's probably gonna be a better quality of life with the $10,000 and you're taking home five as opposed to making $100,000 and you're only taking home four. So you, you got to figure out your personal reason for like why you want to scale. I know for me personally, I want to scale my agency. You know, I start off as a freelancer doing things on my own, working with just some other freelancers. But when I decided to actually build an agency and had my, you know, I said on scaling it to a seven figure agency. Um, I wanted to do that because I figured that scaling would actually increase my quality of life because I would be able to afford to, you know, pay and bring on a team. Like if you're only making twenty five, thirty thousand dollars a month, then it can be really hard to bring on a team, a quality team that can help. You know, if you're doing $100,000 a month, okay, now you can actually um, afford to pay for a team that can actually, you know, help you out. Uh, it will allow you to focus in your zone of genius instead of having to wear every single hat. So, you know, for some people, that's the thing is they want more freedom and they know that scaling up can get them that. For some people, they may want to scale up because they could provide more jobs. That's a, a great one. Like if you're doing $100,000 in revenue or a million dollars in revenue, chances are you get to employ a lot more people. So if that's something that's near and dear to your heart, for some people it is. Uh, for some people, you know, they can be, they'd rather be the lone wolf. But if you want to employ people, you know, that's a great reason for wanting to scale. Um, you know, one that should be common is that you just want as many people as possible to experience your service, your product. Uh, when you scale up, you get in front of more eyeballs, you're getting more customers, and you're getting more clients. So that may be a reason, but there's some people that, you know, they don't want that. They want to work with a select few. They don't need hundreds of thousands. You know, they just need however many of the perfect client in that's fine. So, you know, the moral of the story is you need to find out if there's a reason that scaling makes sense for you. And it just can't be vanity. It just can't be so that you can say, I have a seven figure business because top line revenue isn't what matters. It's the bottom line revenue. But when you're scaling, scaling is hard. Scaling uh, requires more people, more, more focus. So if you don't have like a, a, a why that makes sense, that you can really tap in when you're scaling, then you're probably not going to get the most out of your scaling effort. So that's what I challenge you to do is really figure out, okay, for yourself personally, why do you want to scale? How does that make your life better? So um, thank you for watching today's episode of your business won't scale yourself. I hope this was helpful to your business. I hope it um, makes you think a little bit. If you need help applying any of these concepts, just click on the link in the description and we'll be glad to help you. Don't forget to comment, like, and most importantly, subscribe to this channel so that you can get these valuable daily updates. Talk soon.